What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, got something, I guess, a little bit different today. Um, some of you saw that I gave away a turkey fryer uh, in one of the last live chats, and I got a bunch of messages. There were, I know there's some comments on it asking what the turkey fryer was for and how it's relevant to powder coating, obviously, because that's what this channel is about. So, um, I guess. I'm gonna give you a breakdown. Um, I went and picked up a turkey fryer to be able to show you guys. I don't use this method necessarily anymore, um, but this is a great method for anybody starting out or even if you don't wanna get yourself a parts cleaner, um, you know, like a big hot tank. So this way works awesome and uh, I'm gonna take you through that right now. So the focus of this video is gonna be technically, I guess, on valve covers. Um, although this method works for cleaning any gross, disgusting, greasy part. Um, this valve cover was removed yesterday and it is to be powder coated. Uh, as you can see, it's completely covered in oil. Now you could go through and hit this with brake cleaner and pressure wash it and hit it with degreaser and all that. Um, and you probably get to somewhere in this range where it's a fairly clean valve cover, it's not much on it, um, but it's not great. So the method that I'm gonna show you involves a turkey fryer. Just like this. This one is available at Walmart. I'm gonna post a link down in the description for you guys. This thing is, I think, 50 bucks, like 49 bucks. Um, and you get free shipping from Walmart if you don't have one at your local store. Uh, this one works awesome. Uh, there's no reason to go anything more wild than this, but if you have access to a different one, go that route. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take you through this. We're gonna show cleaning up these valve covers as a part of the powder coating process. So I got the unit out of the box and fully assembled. Um, it's actually working right now. Just works off a standard tank of propane here. Um, as you can see, it's got a lid. Uh, in it, I tend to put uh, one gallon of Simple Green. Uh, you can put a half gallon of Simple Green too. And then I put three, four, maybe five gallons of distilled water as well. Um, this thing's already running. It does come with a thermometer for it already. Um, and as this water gets warm, we're going to drop some valve covers in here and you guys will be able to see the difference when they come out. All right, so as the temperature starts to rise on this, you can see it's uh, closing in on, I guess, 150. You know, it's probably like 135, somewhere in there. 125, whatever. Um, <clears throat> once it starts getting warm, you can actually put a valve cover in pretty much right away. And then this is going to decide you know, when there's a valve cover in, kind of decides how much fluid you actually want to put in this. I put in a gallon of Simple Green and I think three gallons of distilled water. Um, I still have room, but I'm actually going to see if I can fit another valve cover in here. Okay, looks like there's still room, so I'm gonna add another gallon of distilled water, and then uh, I'm gonna set this up on time-lapse and just uh, let it go. 